All right, hello, and welcome to another Scars of Mirrodin draft. I am joined by my friend Jack in a very special draft. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, here's the first pack. Uh, what jumps out at you? Uh, skin Render. Obviously. Um, is there anything else even close to Skin Render in this pack? No. Not really. I mean, Glimmer, uh, these are on like the next tier under it, right? Like yeah. Dispense, Glimmer Point, Fume Spitter, Glenhawk Idol, yeah. the Silver Mirror, Glenhawk. No, it's easy. It's not even close. Yeah. So the real question is how much do we try to chase that pick and how much are we willing to abandon it? Um, does this push us into Infect? I don't know. Um, there's a Plague Stinger here. Could follow up our Skin Render with a Plague Stinger. Yeah, but then that's going to go the, around. The Mirror Smith? The, no, the... Uh, the Black Leaf Goblin? Yeah. I'm not that worried about Black Leaf Goblin. This is like literally the worst Infect creature. It's true. Like, Mirror Smith, honestly, is the most powerful card in this pack. I, I this think is a you really should go with card. that. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely think Plague Singer is a pick here, though. Well, pick it. The, the problem with that is, like, it, while it keeps us on color, it is kind of a heavy commitment it to, is. Uh, in to like, move towards Infect. But that said, like, what are we trying to do here? Black, white, metalcraft? Mm, guess not. That's, that's like lame. that's not really a, a thing. A archetype of. No, I go with the infect. You think so? The plague singer. I mean, I think if I were alone, I'd take the plague singer. But I'm very interested in how your input would affect the draft. Plague well, singer or mirror smith? Well, I'll do mirror smith just to keep open a little bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the mirror smith. I think that was a good choice. There's no Infect cards. I guess the Life Staff would be pretty good in the it Infect deck. But we can take the Life Staff anyway. Yeah. Um, but I'm tempted to take the Moriak replicator. That's what I think you should do. You think so? Yeah. Um, stays in our black. It combos with the Mirror Smith. Basically, it's got synergy with both of our cards. That's true. And that's what we're looking for, is, is maximizing synergy whenever possible. Um, Razor Verge Thicket is not even close to being on color. No. Neither of these are good. Yeah. I mean, it's... I think it's the Life Staff or the Moriak replica. I'm not a huge fan of Clone Shell, so it's pretty clear it's the replica there. Yeah, I think, I think it's easy. And yes, now we are starting to see some signals. Look at this Sky Eel School sitting here. That's nice. Like, LSV loves these Sky Eel Schools. They do fly around the table. Yeah, you could, um, you could get blue black. Like, is that... Disperse isn't that, is good, too. Yeah, but like, a 3-3 three, three flyer for 5... Oh, I don't pardon. think I could ever. Yeah, I don't think I could ever take disperse over that. I think instill infection is the other choice. Oh no, I definitely don't think you should take disperse over that. That's not what I'm saying. I was just saying that it's good that it's coming. That oh, disperse yeah. is coming. Well, to some extent, we can't really cut blue, which may be a problem. Yeah. Um, but I'm not. Yeah, disperse and throwing bird are pretty much out. I think instill infection or sky school. The real question is, do we want to stay on color? Because instill infection is a fine card, or do we want to? go with the abstractly more powerful like what do you think i would be tempted to take get the, the school. Yeah. yeah so and i am fine ditching the mirror smith at the very least we we took it away from somebody else which is fine well this is kind of a whiff i don't know what jumps out at you in this pack nothing <laughs> <laughs> absolutely zero uh the corrupted harvester is playable it's it is it's not the worst some sort of you know, maybe you'll get a lot of mirror. <laughs> Seems like that's highly unlikely. No. I am honestly, I'm a big fan of the big green deck. I was, I was really thinking that too. But then there's yeah. also the liquid metal coating. That can, that can get really this card tricky. Can get nasty. It it's really also can. combos with our mirror smith. It does. If we splash red and pick up some shatters or a scrap actually, the liquid metal does not combat well with the mirror smith. Sure, it does. I mean, you get a mirror by playing. I don't know, Alpha Tyrannix or yeah. liquid metal coating. Quick uh, Tyrannix. I'm kind of in agreement. I think that Big Green is definitely a deck, and I'm a big fan. Replica. Replica. Um, or the Molder Beast. I think Sisbear is an honestly a, is a really? pick here. Yeah. I think think about this. Um, if you're trying to cast like Alpha Tyrannix you can and Skin Render and Sky Eel School, sure. a two three Infect holds the fort like sure. really really good. I think this is one of the things that a lot of people mistake about this set is that the Infect creatures are not just for the Infect deck. Sure. I've seen that with uh, I've played Plague Singer and non-infect decks. So again, yeah. a one-one. Like remember uh, Una's Gate Warden? Right. It's a, yeah. It's, it's like the same. it's basically the same idea. It is. Um, totally right. I think it's the Neurok replica or the Sisbear. I'm really close. Sisbear. Tell Just me do it. which one. Sisbear. You sure? Yeah. It's a good idea. 
All right. That is a late to spare. It's not, it's not too late to move in on poison. Okay, I see like five cards I'd be willing to take in this back. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Mm. Well, is it, I think it's a little too early for the steady progress. progress. I mean, it combos with skin render, uh, combos with sis bear. That's really about it. Yeah. So that brings us down to the two spell bombs, Volshock replica and saber claw golem. Which spell bomb do you think is better? Uh, I think flight spell, spell bomb is better, and sure seems like we might play blue. Get it over. Do it. You think? I mean, we're more likely to play black though. I'm gonna go ahead and take Nihil. Sure. I just like we're gonna play Skin Render. I think it's gonna be really hard to pull us away from that pick. Wow, these are these are some pretty stacked yeah. late packs here. Yeah, you get another big guy. I'm very tempted to just, just go ahead it. and take the Tyranix. I mean, what are, what are we passing? Invisimancer, not exciting. Soliton, not really that exciting. Yeah, not at all. Tyranix, really? I mean, this definitely opens us up to go big green. Sure. I think it's a good I'm idea. I'm a big fan of the big green yeah. monster deck. Oh, I think it's good. <laughs> okay. Wow, these. what is with these packs? There's all kinds of good stuff in these. Yeah. Uh, these two is what jump out at me. Yeah, I would take the flyer. The, the Drake? Yeah. Yeah. We're not really committed to Metalcraft yet, which is really where the Quarter Shield shines. Also with uh, Glint Hawks, which we don't have any. No. And as much as this card's also basically not playable without Metalcraft... Well, mm. I don't else? know. I think it's close. I'll go ahead and take your advice, though. I think that's a really close pick, actually. And here, I think Viridian Revel is a uh, awesome enough of a sideboard card. Sure. And if we get like enough Slice and Twains and like Shatters, we could actually main deck this, and it would be ridiculous. Yeah. It's better than the speculative Necrogen Sensor or the ultra speculative Wayfarer. Yeah, everything else is kind of useless, pretty much. Okay, we're basically out of stuff, though. I think we take the Dross Hopper here just because it's, an... it's fringe playable. It's a yeah. guy. It also cuts black. And we can just keep picking them up. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well take the artifact. Yeah. All right, time to switch over. 